Hey there, uh, you asked a good question that also came up uh, earlier today during our office hours. So I figured uh, it'd be a great chance to make a little customer corner tutorial on it. Uh, your question is uh, basically you have a nested object list or object array and you have specific line items inside there that you want to update. And How do you do that? Um, so I'm going to sort of build the same example from office hours to show you. So let's look at this stores table. Um, let's say that there is this object array in here that has some pretty simple metadata, but just what day of the week it is, when it opens, and when it closes. Um, so let's say that you want to be able to edit um, one of the open and close hours from one of these days. Um, how do you go about doing that? So let's just jump to the API. Um, and I just have an endpoint I created from scratch here. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is we actually need to get the existing um, data that's in there. Okay, so I'm first going to do a get record. And it was my stores table. Okay, and so we have stores one here, field value. Let's go ahead and add uh, an input. Uh, that is a just a table reference to the store so we can look up a specific uh, store record. And let's just map that here in the field value. Great. So now we can get um, the store record. Um, next thing we want to do is uh, we want to add an input for um, basically the uh, new line item that we want to insert, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create an object here. Um, I'll call this new hours and let's give this object some schema. Um, so let's go ahead and just mash it up to what's in the database. We'll say a uh, day singular there. And then we'll go um, just add a text field for open. And lastly, a text field for close. And I'll make sure to save that. Great. OK, so now that we're getting uh, what's in the database with this get record, and we have the new information we want to input, we have the day uh, in this object that we want to update, and then we'll have the new hours. Um, what's next is we want to actually find the index of the line item in that array that we want to update. So I'm going to add a new function here. I'm going to go to data manipulation, and I'm going to go to arrays. And I'm going to do this find first element index. So it'll find the index of the first matched element based on what we define. Uh, so here in this function, I can go ahead and set the uh, array here. And in this case, it'll be that variable stores one uh, dot that nested object list, right, which is called ours. So I'll take this array. And then in this expression builder right here, where I define what index I'm looking for, we'll use the variable uh, this, as it says right here, um, to take place of that array. So we can do it for each element. Uh, so I can go ahead in here and say uh, this, and maybe I'll say dot day, because there's a specific day we're looking to update, um, is going to be equal to our input new hours dot day. OK, and so that will give me the index of the day in that list we want to update. So I'll just go ahead and call this uh, something like day index. Uh, so now that we have found the index, we can actually um, update the variable of the full object. And so what I'll do, I'll add a new function, data manipulation, update variable. And here, I'll simply say my store is one variable uh, dot hours. And I'll update it by uh, itself. Um, and then I'm going to use this set filter. Um, there's a quick add right here where we can do it. You can also just find it in the add filter. Um, but this allows us to set a value at a specified uh, path. So now that we know the index of what we're inputting, we can update um, that index in this existing object array. So I can say the date index. 
Uh, and the value is going to be uh, just my entire new hours input, right? I'll replace uh, the day is the same. So I'll replace the day, uh, the open hours, and the close hours. So I'll hit update. I'll hit save. Um, so now that this, this stores one is updated, all I need to do is go to database requests and actually edit the record. And we have stores two here. We'll go ahead and say uh, the field value is still that stores ID. And then the unhide this object here. We don't care about any of all that stuff right now. Um, and I can just actually update this by stores one dot hours uh, because we're updating that variable right here in the function stack before. So this will have our updated list. Um, let's go ahead and just change our response so we can see what we're updating instead of the old stuff. And we'll just get stores two here. And I'll save that. Great. Um, so now let's go ahead and run this. We'll go store ID one. Uh, we'll say day, we'll say Monday. Uh, let's open at, we'll just say zero o'clock and close at one o'clock. So when we run this, we should see that now Monday has been updated with these open and close times. Um, let's go to the database just to double check. And you can see here in the hours already, that Monday uh, was updated. And if we just go back, we can see that this will work for uh, different days as well. We can say Tuesday. Uh, let's make it open at 5 and maybe close at 11. And when we run this, you can see that now Tuesday has been updated. Um, so there you have it. That's how you would basically um, update a line item in a nested uh, object list.